All right, I thought I was done recording for the day, uh, the morning. I'm kind of ready to go to bed. But uh, I checked my email while I was uploading the last YouTube videos. And Shinmara has sent me a new uh, file to try. And so I went ahead and downloaded it and scanned it and everything. So you don't have to watch that this time. Let me make sure I'm still recording. I am. Let me make sure I have enough room to record. So, they're right here. I got 136 gigs. Like, what's this, though? I haven't seen this. I bought a microphone. I bought a little USB. Hmm, I guess like a little USB hub. And I bought some earbuds that are Bluetooth. Just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't really like having things in my ears, but sometimes I'll have headphones, just normal headphones, and they have a wire, so it's annoying. And, uh... So I've been taking those things out. So if there's something playing, I can't even hear it, which I got to remember when I try to run this. So I was, I don't know, I'm just wondering what this is because it's probably one of these devices that I hooked up. And it looks like it's, you know, got a eight megabytes or something. There's Mac, I'm on a Windows. So this is like, oops. Fresco Logic USB driver or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just wanted to make sure I had enough drive uh, drive space, which I did. 136, cool. Uh, so this is um, Shinmara's game that he's making in Common Lisp. I just do different stuff in different browsers, but because I'm just randomly searching stuff, I'll use Firefox. Uh, so Quick Lisp, there's Rivet Face videos. I was just seeing what I could see from the public side, I guess. And then I want to say, uh, well, you know, I'll just use this. Look smart still. I'm just still checking out the search engine right here. Um, and what do I want to say? What was I even talking about? Why am I coming over here? I don't remember. Oh, uh, maybe for Chondria. Chondria. So, uh, I'm just going to say Shinmara maybe. Or should I say Common List? I don't know. Let's just try it like this first. And... Maybe we can just go to, it's probably Candria, but I just call it Chondria. I just call stuff whatever I want to call it, I guess. I don't, I don't uh, invent these words, I just pronounce them. And if I ever invent a word, you can pronounce it however you want. How about that? So this is Shinmara, and he's got his game. Uh, I think if you scroll down here, you can subscribe to that. But where's the actual game? Did it say it up here? No. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down past. This is another game he made, but. I think I made a video already. So the demo is now live, so check it out. So I think you can come over here to Kendra Prototype. And then if you just fill out your email and your name or whatever you want to have, then he'll send you a link and you can download. And so this is just a demo. The game's not done. Oh, I want to say when I first started playing with this, um, there, there was like maybe one NPC, I think, I want to say, Maybe two or something. And there wasn't really much stuff. You could go in a couple different rooms and stuff. So he's as he's making updates or releasing the game, he's uh just you know, putting them out there. And it's on GitHub too. If you saw the first link, it might have been GitHub. You can actually come over here. Like I tried this, I think I said that in another video, but you can download this and then try to like run it from inside a common list or yeah, inside our common list REPL from Emacs. Which maybe I'll try to do at some point, but right now I just want to test it out. And then the last video, you know, I didn't know if it was cool if I was, you know, demoing his game that's not even out and all the stuff, but he seems to be cool. He says most of his stuff is open source. So uh, he didn't seem to mind that I'm playing around with this stuff. So in this one, though, when I can tell you when I tried this, I downloaded it, and then it took me a long time to be able to get all the stuff to run inside Common Lisp. And uh, I think it's his game is using, like, Steam controls or something. And I was having an issue, and I happen to have like the first Xbox uh, that came out, the controller that's just a USB controller or something. And uh, I think my nephews have uh, newer Xbox around here with uh, newer controllers, but they're this, I don't know if they're like Bluetooth or something like that. You can unplug them and they're wireless, I guess. And I don't think you can just hook those up to a PC very easy and get them to work. So, but, so I downloaded this and I had that, I could, like the, it was acting weird with the keyboard because it's, 
I don't know. I couldn't figure out, like, in the code and stuff, how the dude was supposed to move. But when I used the joystick, I, I could swing, though. Like, I couldn't move, like, with the arrow keys. But if I hit whatever space bar or whatever it is to, like, swing, I could swing. And so I guess whenever you swing he with one of the buttons, he moves. The character moves forward a little bit. So I was just running around. I think I could jump. And I could swing. And so I was just jumping and swinging to, like, move around and stuff. So at one point, it might be cool to try to figure out, you know, uh, download this, but this might be updated too, so, um, might not have to do all that stuff, but it was just interesting, so I was actually playing the game from inside the Lisp REPL, basically, not in the REPL itself, but calling it up and then starting the game, so that was cool, but you can just download the demo, like I'm going to try to demo right now, so he gave me this, I think it's the newest one, so if I go up a folder, I was just, you know, these, this is the Maybe the, probably the, 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 I was putting this in a different spot because I was under a different user, so, uh, do I go back? So hopefully it's the one that I just downloaded. I put it in here, and then in here there's probably like a candidate.exe. So uh, I have my controller hooked up, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, you know, the music is going to come up, but I don't know how loud it is because I can't hear it. So let me put my uh, earbuds in real quick. So I can see how loud this is, because if it's too loud, it's going to override me talking. So I want to turn the audio down, probably. So I'll just put these in, and then... Well, maybe I'll just keep them my ear while I play this game, and then take them out. The second thing I want to do is make sure I'm not playing any music or anything, so... Make sure there's nothing that would be playing music open, no. Uh, and then... I did check if I was recording, right? Alright, so... Now, if I play this, uh, more info, run it anyway. I already scanned it and stuff, so it's all good. And let's see what happens. Oh, you know, before I do this, though, there's something I want to do. Oh, I wish I would have done that first. So let me get out of here, and I'm going to go to app data. Uh, set app data. And I've been going back and forth with Shimera. This, this stuff keeps happening, but if I come over here, I'll just want to. I'm just going to delete this. I was renaming them. Uh, well, I'll just say last crash, maybe. Uh, last crash. I just want to get this folder out of here because it's going to be saving stuff in here. And I don't want it to get. It probably has some uh, stuff in there. I don't want it to get mixed up with it. So it should just have. If I go back over there, it probably recreated that folder again, right? So I'm just doing a whole new, here it is. So here's the crash. Last crash is probably, I should have named it the same, that way it'd be in a certain order or whatever, but. So here I am. Uh, here's some music coming up. And uh, I'm still running on this junky laptop right now, so I'm going to leave it a small screen and just try to. Maybe do a better job of demoing it. Last time I was going through all the dialogue real fast because I was just looking to see if it was going to crash. This time I'll try to play it and see if it crashes. So, Catherine, ta da, here we are. All right. Uh, what do you think? Um, you live here? Yep, pretty amazing, huh? And come look at this. I guarantee you will never. You won't have ever seen some, anything like it. I'm not a very good reader. Like, <laughs> maybe a second grade reader. So, uh, bear with me as I read stuff. what I tell you? Amazing, right? Um, what am I looking at? They're crops. We're growing crops. Oops. I did it too fast. Well, don't look too excited. This is a real feat. Believe me. Erm. Hang on a second. Where is everyone? This isn't the welcome I was expecting. Uh, something wrong? Well, I just reactivated the an Android. I thought I'll be here. That I'll be here to see you, or meet you. We better find Jack. He'll be in engineering. So go follow her. Come back, Catherine. Come back. Uh, another thing too is if you use the arrow keys, then it'll show like hit E to interact with stuff. But since I'm using the joystick, it shows this little button. Some sort of workshop 
shop. The technology is crude. What do they build here? Ten openers? And then Jack. Don't give me that bull crap. Where the hell have you been? And who is this? What do you mean? I brought back the android. I got her working. Jesus, this is all we need. Oh, just be nice. Why not? Pleased to meet you. What? It, it speaks? Jack, what's wrong? Talk to me. The water has filled again, and this time I don't think the pump is a problem. There must be a hole in the pipe, I think is what it said. If we don't get it back soon, we're screwed. We'll lose the whole darn crop. Sheesh. I should have been here. Yeah, you should. Well, I'm here now. What can I do? You can stay put in man engineering. Fee and the others might need you. I'm going down there to check the supply pipe. <clears throat> you can't. Not with your leg. And you know there's something I can't fix. Let me go. No way. It's too dangerous. The android can come with me. You should see what she can do. She's got a freaking sword. A sword? Have you lost your mind? An android ain't no toy. You'd be safer walking straight into raw territory than you would going anywhere with that thing. And then, you're right to be afraid. Uh, why not? Oh, I can protect her. I'll be a nice robot. The hell you can. Look, we need to fix the water, right? Now, or we're goners. And I'm your best shot. Me and my android buddy. Sheesh. All right, you better not let me down. Yes. But I'm warning you, Android, touch one hair on her head, and I'll bury you for another 50 years. Thanks, Dad. Well, we'll be going then. Hold on, Kathy, take this walkie. Radio if you have any trouble. I will, and don't worry. I'll be back ASAP. All right, Android. Let me know when you're ready to go. So I think I can come over here and look at his desk, too. Jack's workbench. He's smelly. It's, it smells like he's been working out, I guess. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, stay close behind me. We got a new quest. Fix the water supply. This way. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did she jump down there? Catch me if you can. Oh, all right, here's the leak. That's strange. The pipe is cracked. Can you fix it? I wouldn't be much of an engineer if I couldn't. Oh, well, here goes. I'm going to weld it. So best not look at the arc. Don't want to fry your cameras. Catherine puts her, go puts her goggles on and welds a crack with steady hands. So I want to not mess my eyes up. Or my circuit boards or whatever. So I'm going to enable my UV filters and see if that helps. I see the dull glow. And hear sparks crackle and spit. That's the android talking. I guess that's me. That should hold it. Jack, I fixed the leak. The pipe was cracked. How's the water pressure? Over. Weak. There must be another leak. Over. All right, we'll keep looking. Over and out. Come on. Er, you really need a name. You really don't remember it? Uh, why do I need a name? I'm a robot. Or android. I don't know. Everyone has a name. It's you. It's personal. And it makes it easier to have a conversation. Well, until it comes back to you or you decide what you'd like to be called, I'm going to call you Stranger. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go, Stranger. Oh. Uh, look, the cracks, as we saw on the last pipe. This isn't right. Jack, I thought, I think we've got trouble, over. What is it? We're in the Midwest market. Just like before, the pipe is cracked. But there's no sign of cave-in, over. It's sabotage. I knew it. All right, Kathy, you stay put. I'm coming down, over. No, I'm all right. I can fix it, over. Okay, just be careful. I'll tell Fee what's going on. Also, the pressure is still screwed. You better follow the pipe right down to the pump, just to be sure you got all the leaks. The walkie won't work down there. But there's a telephone by the pump. Use that when you're done. And keep your wits about you. Over and out. All right. Let me seal this one up. Wait, who's there? Ooh, is there monsters? Uh oh. 
Doggies. Doggies. Ooh, I got nailed. Keep it busy. Oh no, she's getting hit. I'm not a very good android protector, am I? Ow. He's a monster. Come here. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Alright, let's get over here away from her at least. Nice work! I've done the world. Good as new. Let's get down to the pump room. I guess she knows where everything is. Ooh, whoa. I was getting fast there for a second. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a fast android. Oh, she can teleport. Cool. Where are we going? Can I jump and run fast, though? Yeah. What the heck? Rogues he rogues here? I think we found the saboteurs. Do your thing. Alright. See if I can do better this time. Oh, y'all can't mess with me. I'm a robot. I think I got hit though. Got 70 health. What have they done? Oh man, we got here just in time. They were dismantling the turbine. Give me a minute. There, that should do it. Now where's the tel that telephone? Jack, it's me. Thank goodness. Good work, Kathy. The water's back on. We found the saboteurs. Rogue robots from God knows where. Those mothers. Strange your doubt with them though, or something. Did they? Look, Kathy, get your butt back here on the double. And bring the android. Fee's on the warpath. What does that mean? I'm, I'm bad with the voiceovers. I gotta get used to, like, talking in different voices, maybe. Jackie, hop! up! Well, whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Seems we'll have to wait a little longer for that welcome home we deserve. I gotta think what to do next. Give me a minute. I'm gonna go look around, what do you think? I think I got duck. So. I don't know, I want her to ditch me though. Hello? Can I talk to you? Okay, I think we should head back, see what's going on. Why don't you lead the way? See if you manage to get your bearings. What? I didn't get my bearings. Okay, I'll just try. I'll follow you this time. All right, I hope you can keep up this time. Take us home, stranger. Oh, uh, let's see if we can find our way back. Um, uh, can I go up here? Uh-oh. Maybe it's the other button, huh? I think I can, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Um, so I can jump and then this button right here that makes me dash if I hit up, makes me jump again. I think I could go this way. Keep up, little girl. I'm an android. Do I want to go up there? Can I climb up this thing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Can I go up like this? It's going to take forever. Try one more time. She wants to go the other way. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Oh, can I make it? Am I going to fall in pink? I already going to get up here. Look where I left you. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't want to fall there. That would not be good. But there's a rope here. That would have been easier back there, too. That looks kind of cool. The rope works. Jump back on and see if it... Oh, no, it doesn't. Can I jump back on the rope? Oh, no. It's weird. Oh, there. I'm just not good at it. I don't know, maybe I ditched her down there. Maybe she should have led the way. Oh no, she's fast. She can teleport. Right, he's not here. Let's try it outside. She went this way earlier. Right there. Earlier this was a dead end, so I'll just check it out real quick. Dead ends are kind of cool looking. Oh yeah, it is. 
Well, that dead end. Saw a little button right here, though. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, I'm not. The mountains lay beyond, though I can hardly see them in the storm. All right. So, run out of there. Come on, we can do it. There's something over here, too. This is farmland. Oh, this is me now. I don't know what an android sounds like. This is farmland. They're growing potatoes, dying one by one. Looks of it. I think I came out of there. Well, I want to call a telephone. Hello? Anybody got any money? We're back! Did you miss us? Well, I'll be darned. What's the matter? Didn't think I'd come home in one piece? Something like that. Oh, another person. You've done well, Catherine. An android is a great asset for us. Assume it can be trusted. I don't understand. Is it no coincid coincidental? Is it not coincidental that, the, that you discovered it at the same time our water supply was sabotaged? But we saw the rogues. They were dismantling the pump. Maybe this android can control them. Did you think of that? Mm. Androids did have FFCSs, or far field comm systems. I guess something like that could penetrate deeper underground than our radios. But no, it's not that. She's been offline for decades. I'm sure of it. And since I brought her online, she's been with me the whole time. She can't have done this. But what do you really know about androids, Kathy? Nothing, that's what. Well, ask her. Have you betrayed us, stranger? Um, what do I know if I just came on, right? I suppose, I suppose I could have. She doesn't know what she's saying. Her memories are all messed up. Up to the point I brought her online. All right. It's hardly conclusive. But for now, we'd better hope Catherine's right. If not, then the Raw know our location. And their hunting packs are already on the way. Jeez, V. You're just going to take that at face value? What choice do I have? Examine that thing and find out for sure. Catherine, don't androids have a black box? Could you show us if the FFC was it was active lately? Oh, oh. Uh, I guess. We need to find some kind of interface port. Oh, and we need a working computer, which we don't have. Anyway. And see, I don't know if the music's too loud. Let me go in here. I did this the whole time. Maybe I can hit escape. Can't pause right now. Okay, so... After this, maybe. Anyway, even if we did, don't you think you should ask her if taking her apart is okay? You're right, Catherine. I'm sorry, stranger, wasn't it? Would you permit Catherine to examine you? Once we have, once we can source a computer? I'd rather she didn't. Sure, why not? As long as I'm still online afterwards. Don't worry, I won't let them switch you off. That's settled then. Jack, speak with Sahil when he arrives. See what he can do for us. If you insist. But irrespective of all this, I am certain that the Raw are our attackers, one way or another. Which means they're close to discovering our location. I must consider our next course of action. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll see you both later. Hey, stranger, right here. I want to talk. I am her, Catherine, stranger. You take care, Kathy. Okay, so I wanted to see if I can turn on the music, because who knows how loud that is. Oh, where could we do that at? Let's see, options maybe? Audio, I'll just use the mouse, because it's probably easier for me. Language, I didn't hear nobody talking. Gameplay speech, that might be that ticking sound. Oh, music, let's turn that sucker down. anymore uh in effects uh, maybe the effects don't bother me too much uh let's see if we escape out of here maybe ooh. 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 just keep an escape uh 
the effects are kind of loud still. Hopefully you can still hear me. That's still kind of loud, I think. So I should have turned the master down some, but whatever. Let's just say effects come to here. I don't care if they're a little bit louder. Now the music got louder too. Uh, seems like the music got just as loud as it was. Uh, maybe because I'm in the pause menu, it's not as loud. I'm supposed to save it too, I don't know. I think it's better. I'll find out. Ugh, adults. I mean, technically, I'm an adult, but I like those dinosaurs. Oh, and I almost forgot. It's our way to give someone to those who help us out. Since those two aren't likely to be feeling generous anytime soon, I'll give you these spare parts. It's not much, but you can trade them for things you might want. Or you'll be able to once Sa Sahil gets here. He's, he's overdue, which is not like him at all. Maybe those rogues scared him off. Anyway, don't you worry about them. They'll soon see what a big, friendly, bad to the bone robot can protect us. Who can protect us? Well, I've got to go. I've got work to do. I think Fee might be want, want, want to work with you. Just something about the way she was looking at you. Knowing Jack, he'll have something for you to do too. If only a mouthful of abuse. For right now, you're a free agent. I doubt that will last very long around here, so make the most of it. Take a look around and explore. See you later, stranger. So new quest, query fee, new quest, query jack. Quest completed something. Fix the water leaks, maybe. Oh, uh, so I don't know. Like, this is a lift game. Uh, maybe I'll do one little thing here. I don't know. Let, let people play the game for themselves, I guess. But I just wanted to see if this is uh, working, working so far. So I'll play a little bit longer, just... And then later on, I'll just come in here and dig around a little bit, see if I can find some bugs or something. Uh, but let's see. So, you are the leader around here? Something like that, anyway. I guess I'm supposed to be a grown-up now. I wanted to apologize for Jack's behavior and my own short-sightedness. You are our guest, and you have helped us. But you must also understand that as chieftain, I have responsibilities to keep and must be diligent. But I think I have a way that you can help us again and for you to further earn my trust. Although the water is back, our crops are unlikely to survive for much longer. I knew coming here would, would be hard, but we're on the brink. If we don't starve, then it seems the raw will get us in the end. They'll be coming sooner or later. No one escapes them and lives very long. What's next? Can't move underground. Who's the raw? Why am I suddenly your confidant? Just tell me what to do, I guess. Uh, I haven't told the others about the harvest, but they aren't blind. I'm telling you because I think you can help. There's a place beneath the ruins to the east where we first discovered the seeds that you see growing before you. So I want to go east. Alex found it, our hunter. I want you to retrace their steps. Find the cache. And if it's intact, recover all the seeds that remain. If we can sow enough of them, and soon enough, then, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? You can't rely on me. Thank you. Whether you succeed or not, your efforts will be will help earn your earn my trust. Alex has been our soul hunter for some time. You could be a hunter too, and more besides. I think. Good luck. So retrieve the seeds. Quest completed, query fee. Can I just ask, can I order? I need some seeds from the east, please. Maybe not. Uh, I could go in that building, but it told me to go. Let me get my cursor off the screen. I didn't even notice that. Ooh, I did good that time. Uh-oh, got dark. Uh, I think those are uh, spikes. I'm going to run into them. Oh, no, dead androids. Not good. Short circuit. Must reboot. Um, I'm not very good at jumping, if you can tell. Uh, maybe this works. Can I 
run that way? Okay. So they said go east. I want to say she said go down somewhere. It's over there. Oh. Well, I'm down at least. Anything over here? Received Black Knight. Received Black Knight. I guess I'm supposed to be a girl android. I don't know what that sounds like either. I'll just do the guy 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 voice for now. Is this some stuff? Um, I don't know. Can I go down that thing? It's over here before I fall down there. Not a thing. Well, there was something in the other corner, maybe over here. Nope. Guess I'm going down. Ooh, some, some, uh, barbed wire? Is that how you call that? Ooh, I'm not good at that either. Ow. Okay, maybe I get right at the end. Try it. Ooh, I got it that time. Uh oh. Um. Oh, all the way down there. Uh, I might not get enough seeds for you guys. <laughs> oh, I don't want to stop though. I just want to run fast. I want to run fast. I don't want to be a slow android. Ow. Oh, ripped my face off, but it didn't, so that's cool. Looked like it should have ripped my face off, though. Um, jump down. Ooh. Is this my seeds around here? Oh, 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 what's this? Got a rusty puffball. Receive rusty puffball. Receive flower fungus. Is there more of them? Drawers or something right there. Um, oh, van, can I get some gears? Semi manufactured electronic components, not least for androids. It's sad to see this fa their factory quiet and dormant. Uh, I'm stuck. Can I unstuck? Yeah, I can unstuck. I wasn't stuck, maybe. Thought I was stuck. Can I crawl in there? Secret passage? Nope. Uh, receive Black Knight. Okay, can I jump in a drawer? Computer on? There's something over here at least. It's an old world bunker. This must be the storage cache. It smells as old as it looks. Containers and sacks of seeds are strewn about. Now I sound like an evil android or something. Someone's been through here before. Most of this is spoiled, but some of the closed containers may still have usable seeds. Like this one, there are 54 satchels inside. The seeds are in wrappers, tiny and hard-like. I forgot my uh, robot voice. How to do it? <laughs> well, they grow. I stole 54 satchels in my compartment. Okay. So... I don't know. I think uh, that's enough gameplay, maybe. Let me try to get out of here, but I might not be able to do that very easily. So, yes, this is a common lisp game. So, if anybody's wondering if you can make video games in common lisp, how do I get out of here? Can I just jump straight up? Ooh. I can. Ooh, I forgot which button to hit. Oh, I was going to say, hopefully it takes me back out, huh? I guess not. Try this again. Ooh, barely made it that time. Okay. So, jump up again. Go that way. Oh, I'm getting better. Oh, no, don't crawl into it, buddy. I would not want to crawl into that right there. Get me out of here. It's just cool how that rope goes up like that for a little bit. All right. Um, oh, it might be a pain to get out of here too, huh? Nope. Oh, I like these ropes. Just let me climb up a rope. I don't want to be Spider-Man. Uh, I guess if I stop doing that, maybe it'll run faster. 
Oh yeah, real fast on the wall. So, um, oh, the monsters came back. I just want to jump over you guys, maybe. Ooh, don't fall out on there, buddy. Oh, I guess I'm do a roll and stuff. Okay, stop jumping. Now I'll try to stop jumping, see if I can run fast again. Boom. Take those people. Oh, she's over here. What up? I finished the quest. Maybe it'll save it for me, then I can quit. You're back. Did you find those seeds? I've got them right here. Oh my, they're... Must be 50 sachets here. Satchel, sachets. All fully stocked. You've done well, very well. I see they are sown right away. My voice is getting hoarse. <laughs> Despite us hope I never thought we'd have. Now that you are earning my trust, stranger, perhaps you will become a part of the Noka yourself. That must be their cult or group or whatever. But for now, please accept this reward as my token of appreciation. appreciation. Oh, I've also given Jack a special assignment. Something I think you'll be well suited to help with. He'll be in engineering. Also, I heard Sahil is here. Our trader friend. His caravan is down the Midwest market beneath the hub. He would be wise to equip well for your work. And so, find a trader quest complete. Retrieve the seeds. Uh, I don't know how to get my inventory. I? No. Z, X, C. Can't pause right now. C's a pause, I guess. Why can I pause right now? B? Let me get off the screen, maybe I can pause. So C and B are saying can't pause. B, N, M, so A, S, D, A, S, D, I guess it's gonna be movement. W, space bar to jump. F, G, H, J, K, L, uh, maybe escape. Is there an inventory there? I guess there was. Um, so I got f consumables. Maybe I can move with the arrow keys. I can move with the mouse. Okay, so quest. So we have some health packs, quest items, valuables, 40 scrap parts, special items, just me. Okay, escape to get out of there maybe. Um, I'll take the tilt key. I don't know how to use this, but it looks like some kind of map editor maybe. I'm not even going to mess with it until I figure it out, I guess. Oh, how do I get out of here? Escape is saying probably can't pause right now. Some V thing back there. How do I get out of here? Oh, I hit the tilt key. There we go. Um, so jump. Oh, I can jump really high. Uh, I think I can do a move like this. Can I jump like this and do that move? Yes. I can only do it once. Can I do the this? Yes. So that one I can keep swinging. It looks like. Uh, maybe that one too, and then this one right here. Okay, so there was a step up, and this one just jumps up if I hit the other one. I guess I can look up long enough. If I look down long enough, it does the same thing, maybe. But I'm not high enough to do it. There it goes. Uh, I can dash. Is there any other keys here that I can see? Yeah, so. Can't really double jump, but you got that other jump. Uh, the right trigger, I guess. So I can just jump up high like that, or jump up a little bit higher like that. There was another building over here. Can I jump on that thing? And some stuff. Yeah, maybe. So, anyway. This is a game Shinmaris building on Common Lisp. And I don't know, it's pretty cool. Like, he's got it out there in open source. He's also got a cert, uh, let me just get out of here. So exit the game. Cool, Shin, it's starting to work. He's not gonna watch this, he ain't got time probably to sit here and watch me yap on YouTube. Some random dude playing his game. Oh, let me get these earbuds out of my ear. Cause it sounds so weird when I talk. It sounds weird when I hear my voice recorded too probably. Get the controller out of my way and let's see. What did I wanna do? Um, Did it make a trial log? It did make a trial log. This might be Uh, I think I made this one right, so this is how I was trying to like find out how to debug stuff earlier. Well, not debug, he was doing the debug, I was just trying to find out what was wrong. Here's that Steamworks stuff I was talking about that was in the other one that seemed to be controlling the movement maybe instead of the Lisp. It's probably calling some Lisp code or something, I don't know. I'll try to figure that out one day maybe. 
uh, Steam running in the app ID set up properly. Yeah, I think that's all his stuff there. So then, I don't know, it's so weird there's a backtrace. It never failed, though. I wonder if this just runs or something. Uh, it's just some information about my machine. I think right here is like the name of my machine. I'm on a 64-bit architecture. I don't know what Genesis is, but maybe that's something to do. So Trial is his game engine, and that's open source too. I don't think it's documented or anything yet, because he's still, like, it's not published, but even though it's not, like, out for everybody to use, per se, you can still go download it and try to mess with it. Maybe one day I can try to make a video of doing that, but I have no idea. Actually, you know what's interesting? Uh, I probably won't forget to look in here, but it's not important, because I did another video of how I was trying to find information out of here. We can scroll down here real fast, but then I would forget what I was trying to say. I don't need this open anymore, I don't think. And I want to say that there was a YouTube video, but let's just go see real quick. I'm not going to play it, but if I can find one. This might be the first, I don't know if it's the first time I found Shinmira's work, but maybe it was one of the first times, because I was actually looking for a game engine. There's another one. I tried to actually do that too. It's called Blackthorn. Maybe I can remember to go ahead and actually search that, because I started searching it a couple times. And I just never finished in one of my videos. But uh, I want to say it was Trial, and maybe TWF, one of these things or something. But uh, Trial Game Engine, Common Lisp. Oh, so here it is. So that's Shinmara, too. He's got YouTube videos, too, I guess. I'll have to go check his uh, channel out, probably. I'll just go look at his stuff real quick. See what kind of videos this guy's got. He has all kinds of libraries and stuff, so. Restream that I don't even know what none of this is. He's like an artist and stuff, too. So he's probably. Here's his other game, I think. I don't know if this is common list, but I'm just going to claim it is for now. But this one's already in the Steam store. It costs a dollar. I think he was just using this maybe as a mm, test bed to try to get a game to work in Steam. And so I'm guessing it would did it in Lisp. Improved editor. So actually, here's like the edit. That's probably how I knew it hit tilt or whatever, other than some other games do that. It's maybe this editor right here will let me go play with the Chondria one. This is a month old, so it's way newer than when I was looking at this stuff. And so I want to say it's that first. No, it's none of these yet. Let me make this bigger. I don't like it being wide, but maybe you guys like it better that way. It's like harder for me to read left to right than this, just straight down. So it looks like he's uh, making videos himself. Well, I'll probably make one too long if he's making one-minute videos. Um... But I don't know. Like, all this stuff's kind of new. I've never seen any of this. But I want to say there was. It was kind of like this one, but... Mm, I think it was, like, maybe a game he was playing with. Let me scroll to the bottom, because it's probably, like, the oldest ones. So this one's still kind of, like, Leaf. That's what it was called, I think. But it wasn't this fancy. It was, like, a little dude like this or something running around. Uh, Leaf. So maybe it had a, even a previous name. So this is just, like, another game maybe he's making inside. Oh, no, this is still fancy, so it's got older stuff, probably. Mm. Oops, I'm not seeing any more about that. Oh, it's this one. How long is this video? Ten minutes? This is the one that turned me on. So, probably this one tells you about the trial game engine. He's still working, but this is what he's building Chondria in, right? And probably built that little, whatever, Pet Whisperer thing. So, I want to say it's like a video like this, and it's cool because it has a spikes. It's only 10 minutes long. I wonder if I could just play it, but I don't know, like, I don't know how good that is to, like, watch another video inside here. But check this one out here, and you'll just see what I was talking about. See these little spikes right here that you can see? And then he puts, like, lays these out and then puts, like, some red stuff right there. So, that, like, maybe puts the hitboxes. And so this is the first, maybe, time I saw anything about the trial game engine. So it's two years old, I guess. So, yeah. Um... And it was just this little system right here. And I guess he started building other stuff on top of it. So it's really cool to see this. But this was really cool, too. Like, this is what made me want to, like, mess with Trial. Now, the thing is, I'll just go ahead and see this. So if we go to, like, a uh, Trial Game Engine, maybe. Trial Game. It's probably right here in his GitHub, right? But that's the Candria one. Does he just have a regular Shinmara? We'll just do it this way. Game Engine. Uh, and I'll just put Shinmara to be more specific, let's say. And then another, yet another common list game engine. So um, there's all kinds of these things. 
Now here's the documentation for it. <laughs> so when I first found this, and then, you know, this is like two years ago, and look, still there's no documentation. But he's building games and stuff on it, and still making this trial. Like back then, he probably didn't have the Steam stuff in there. So, um, you would think like, oh man, he's not like documenting the uh, like stuff like so many other people or whatever. But I can go see Radiance and some of his other libraries. Like I'll just show it real quick. I did this in the video already, but look how much documentation he puts on this thing. And all kinds of stuff, and not just that, but I want to say somewhere there's like a, uh, like, for this thing, there's like a one to eight part series of how to use this, and going step by step, so. Pretty sure if he stays with this and doesn't get bored of messing with Common Lisp or this game engine, eventually, whenever he's like, maybe releasing it to the public, because a lot of stuff seems to be open source, then... <clears throat> It'll uh, be documented on what to do, because I don't know. When I go in there and look at that stuff, I don't know what to do. That one, I don't know what to do, but I can read the documentation, maybe. And he has, like, so much stuff. I don't think it's all Common Lisp, but so much of it is Common Lisp. So, like, we could just come over here. Like, well, let's see what some other stuff. So he's got, like, a something in Python, Elixir, live chat server implementations. I don't know. It looks like he plays with all kinds of languages, too. But quite a bit of it's Common Lisp, so... An image gallery for Radiance, so like Radiance has like an image gallery, that's cool. I had to build these one, I built one of these in PHP once in uh, email marketing service. So courier, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I think there's a email server or something that might go by that name. Speechless, a dialogue language system implementation. This might be like dialogue language system language implementation. Maybe that's what he's using for the typing stuff out and the candor that we saw when people were talking. I don't know. So here's another tutorial. Maybe it's the same one. Yeah, so that's the same one, eight part series or whatever. And he's got live chat and JavaScript. So I don't know. Just all kinds of cool stuff. And I would say most of the stuff's probably like documented if he um, does he document all this stuff? So, well, hopefully he does eventually the other one at least. Probably the more popular stuff. I don't know. But it's just cool to like sit here and dig around, play with this dude's game, find out about that uh, other thing out there, and just all his little different tools. A parser for OpenGL shader language source. So GLSL, maybe that's what I was wondering last time. So if we were to come over here, since, let me just search, because I just saw something. G... S G L S L. So right here, this toolkit, and then let's just come over here and see if we say G L S L. So they're in here. So here we go. So now, um, I want to say this looks like more like C, right, than Lisp. So this is a uh, OpenGL shader language source files. Well, this says it's HTML though, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm just guessing stuff right here, but maybe this is some kind of tool or some kind of toolkit. What was I looking at this at HTML? I was looking at the wrong thing, maybe. So a parser for OpenGL shader language source files. Oh, because it says HTML right here. Um, so here's what I'm kind of thinking. So now we can come over here, and so this is probably that toolkit. And TK's toolkit, that's what that was. I thought this might be LTK, as in, but still it might be toolkit, kind of like uh, Tickle TK or something, or GDK. I don't know. I could just go in there and look or something, but what I'm thinking this does is so, okay, so look. He's writing some Lisp code, and then this right here is going to generate the mm. stuff that needs to be for this over here for the, maybe like OpenGL shaders or something. So like here we see shaders too, and it's messing with shaders. So this is like color, it's like RGB maybe, and this is, might be alpha, let's say. And so this is like some, probably like some language where he can write kind of like some Lisp code, and then it writes the C code for, if it's, you know, if that is C, it writes the C code for the shaders for uh, OpenGL or whatever he's using or something, so I'm guessing. So I don't know, it's just real cool. Like, sit here and just dig around. I don't know anything about this stuff. And then you can see right here, it's talking about shaders and textures. So like I'm saying, it's probably that has to do with like OpenGL or something, which I didn't actually read all that stuff like I probably should have. And so many people are messing with stuff. And... I don't know. I'm not really trying to make a long video right now. I was just waiting for stuff to upload. And now i got to upload this one, I guess. But just this is just some uh, 
gameplay and getting Conjure to work because I kind of tried to play Conjure when it's crashing because I just wanted to show people in that other video how stuff's crashing. I'm trying to figure out why it's crashing or something, you know, and give feedback to Shinmara. And he's, I don't know, I want to say it's been going on for three days maybe when he made this. In the past, I didn't have any issue running Conjure, I don't think. Except for when I tried to like download the source code and run it from the REPL or whatever. Uh, but this time, the release. I don't think he's on a Windows machine, so I don't think he's testing in a virtual box or a virtual machine of some sort. So I was just, you know, throwing this stuff back at him. And, you know, sometimes, like, within five minutes, he'll have emailed me back or ten minutes, he's emailed me back and actually got a fix up there or something. And every time I'm getting a little bit further. So this time, maybe it went, like, maybe 12 hours or something went by. And when I was, before I went to bed or was trying to get out of, like, at least to go pay some polyblissy or polyblicky or whatever, how you pronounce it. I just wanted to, I saw, I checked my email and saw that he, he was like, hey, I made a new release and stuff. And so this might be like the third time or so in the last three days. It's probably only been two days as far as like 48 hours, but I started doing it on one day and then another day, and now it's in the morning and another day. It's like 10, so I don't know, maybe it's been going on for three days or something. I've been like sending him what's crashing and he's, you know, gets a chance he fixes it. And it's pretty quick, you know, so it's cool. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for your game and thanks for all your libraries and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to dig around and play around with Lisp videos for a while. But at some point, uh, I don't know, it's like in Lisp a lot of times, as you can see, all these people, well, this one person anyway, but a lot of people... And they usually say don't reinvent the wheel, but it seems like in Lisp, a lot of people just reinvent the wheel because it's even so easy for people to make a Lisp. A lot of people just reinvent, reinvent the wheel and create a Lisp and then start playing around with it and making stuff. And I don't know, I didn't really go over that too much. So when I first started wanting to learn Lisp, I didn't know anything about programming or anything, but I just, you know, read and Lisp just always sounded kind of cool and Maybe I like drinking people's Kool-Aid or something, but it always seems like the list people have some like Kool-Aid to sell you or something about how the language is so great and stuff. And even these people will tell you like, common list is not the answer, uh, or list isn't the answer, but common list isn't the answer. The common list guys anyway. It's the best language we have to work with. It's like interactive and easy to do stuff and whatever you know. Like for whatever reason they like it, but. It's also super wordy, let's say, too, or something. So I don't know that it's the answer to anything. But right now what I'm trying to do is I don't consider myself a programmer. But, I've, you know, I can get around in plenty of languages or whatever. But I'm not an expert in anything. But I've played with a lot of stuff, servers and all kinds of stuff. But I might be just be running my own server rather than running a cloud or something at some big corporation where you're supposed to know all this stuff. And it's different, too, because like if I try to go get a job at a, some cloud server place or let's say like a hosting place, like some place that hosts websites, even though I've been hosting my own website for 20 years, let's say on the FreeBSD machine, a different website besides RubitFace, two of them even, but uh, one's public, public kind of, one's like 90% private, but there's some tools that people use even like 20 years later for some uh, one game I made, like a... I guess you call it like a merge program to merge stuff together. Most people don't use it because they can do it in their head, but some people use it. And so that's still in use. If my server crashes or something, sometimes I'll get an email asking to get it, like if that site's still around or something because my server, the server, the electricity went out or something. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that really, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'm kind of like done. I think there was something I wanted to talk about. So anyway, here's that, that one video too. It's, I don't know, the other one was kind of interesting. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, there was something I was trying to say. I'll have to go back and watch the video and then I'll know what I was trying to say. That's why I was trying to keep stuff in a, the org file earlier. Uh, but maybe if I can't think of it in a second what I wanted to do. I'll just go, you know, I'm still in here. Oh, the multiple core thing. What, you know, another thing I wanted to try. I don't know if I should make another video for this. But if I was over here, and what was the commands I was typing? So I'm just going to move that window over there so I can see it. And 
that one's using a multiple ripple. So let's say I would have typed everything earlier from another video that you're probably not watching, but whatever. Uh, if I had some a function over here, defun, let's just say add me, and then I'm going to put xy here, plus xy. And I don't know why this other one, like, if it's because I'm running a multiple REPL, or because when I started this, there was another REPL that kind of crashed. But I don't know, like, what I was thinking, too, just now is maybe it didn't crash, per se. Maybe it's just that I have, I broke the connection between Sly and Slink, I don't know. So I don't know how to choose which REPL I but I'm wondering if I could attach back to that one and kill that and then try to save that image. I still haven't closed it just in case. But you know, another thing I realized in the last video or after making the last video, it was kind of annoying not to have a source code, even though I was trying not to have a source code on purpose uh, for people trying to learn stuff. So I think in the future, I'm just going to go ahead and take notes and make my notes be an executable file for SPCL or any common list, maybe. And that way, mm, all the stuff's still sitting there, but I kind of want to like actually come over here maybe. And if I can find where, uh, let's just use this one. But then she probably doesn't have a bunch of stuff, but at least if I have this function maybe. So let me just come over here and copy this function or cut it, let's say, and then run this. I don't think if she has any variables and stuff, so it's not necessarily going to work, but I can at least describe that uh, rat girl, right? And what I want to try to do here, maybe I should just close this and reopen it, but I just want to see if these come in that I was typing earlier. I probably have to load that because I probably, what did I do? So let's just go ahead and do the same thing over here real quick. I'm going to update, which I did the other day, so this doesn't matter, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. And then over here, I'm going to say quick load. I'm going to try this trivial. What is it? Dump. Core. And so it loads this trivial dump core. And then I want to dump this as, where am I at first though? Alt X CD. I don't know which one it's going to dump to, the one that slime is in. So right here, I'm just going to put it in learn. All right, so if I go there and then I hit comma here so I can see the CD, and they're, 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 they're lined up. So now from here, what would I do? I'd run this command. So. Trivial uh, dump core dump image, let's say. And then let's pretend just for a minute that all that stuff I typed in the last video, I typed it in this protocol where there's not a multiple REPL and I didn't mess up and have possibly, because I don't know, like I don't know slide, I don't know how to get to these different multiple REPLs. And instead of looking it up, I just want to see if this works because I'm just going to close this anyway in a minute and just redo what, part of that. Where I'm actually saving the file so I don't have to save the file but other people would have the file or something and I guess I could just get it a name so I'm going to say ribbit test dot sbcl so I know what implementation because like if I was using some other C lisp or clisp like I like to call it or ccl or one of these other common that's what I was trying to talk about right well I don't want to forget what I was trying to talk about and now I'm going to forget about doing this probably but uh I was trying to talk about, I'm going to use Google for this because that other search engine I don't know much about. So I'm going to say like common lisp implementations maybe. When I was first trying to get into common lisp, oh man, I don't even know where to start. Implementations. And maybe it's hard to get into common lisp or in a, any kind of lisp because you can say here, we'll just check, take a look at it. So, like, you have Python, maybe you have Python 2 and 3, who knows about Python 1 now. And you might have Ruby, but, and you might have Java, and you might have, like, C. And C might have, like, the 99 standard or different standards, and even C++ might have, like, different years or whatever. But the, one of the issues with Common Lisp is, it's like, there's a bunch of these things. And I want to say some of them even cost lots of money for, let me just see real quick, so commercial ones. So let's just take a look. So SBCL is free. It's open source. This is the one I'm using and recommend to use. If you're on Windows, in the past, some people would recommend to run this on Windows and SBCL on Linux. I'd say if you're on Windows, use SBCL. If you have a reason that something's not working or you need a clip, then go try that one. And you can do this too. It doesn't matter which one you choose. 
uh, if you, for instance, if you, well, I'll just go down them. So SBCL, and then you have this closure, CCL, and you have embedded, embeddable common lisp. And this is for like, you know, maybe for your Arduino, more probably even a Raspberry Pi, I don't know, or some little, some little device, and it's like a little tiny one. Probably it's like just goes to C code or something, or plus a translator to C, so you can just translate your code to C code and then run the code, but you're writing your stuff and, and, and can mess with uh, embeddable common list. And the class, like, I don't, this is for LLVM. Man, there's a guy that does an interesting video. Maybe it's on clasp that he's doing. Uh, I don't know if I talked about that. And then ABCL runs on the Java virtual machine. So this would give you access to a lot of the Java libraries and stuff, maybe using common lisp. I don't know how it works or how well I've never played with it. And then they have the C lisp, which I just call clisp because that's what it looks like to me. And let's go to here to this Allegro CL, let's say, and let's go to ListWorks, just out of curiosity. These are all free. They're probably all even open source. Um, and these aren't even, trust me, there's tons more of these things. But right now, you got one, two, three, four, five, six to go with. And then if we come over here, I want to see how much these cost, maybe. I don't know. They might not even tell you a lot of times on the website how much stuff costs, but I want to say this is ex expensive. And people use this stuff, too, so license and packages, pricing. Maybe we can come over here. So products, it starts at $699 or $599. Professional edition, um, enterprise edition. So I like licensing options. It's not telling me very much. So yeah, it's not telling me, but I want to say this goes up to like five thousand bucks, depending on the stuff that you get. Mm, I don't know. I'm not gonna like sit here and try to figure out where their price thing is, but you can see that where was that at? I thought it was right there. So it's just starting at five ninety nine. And then I think that one's even more expensive than this one, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's a personal edition. It just doesn't have all the stuff. Probably this, this one has a free one, too, maybe. Free download. So you get, like, an express edition. It's free. So it's not like you can't. Um, and there's some cool tools in here, probably, that these people make because they have all kinds of clients that are paying them money for their Lisp. And then so I think that one's actually more expensive than this one, but uh, except for, like, that other one, the 599 one. But for commercial, man, they get really expensive. I don't see prices on here, though. This works. Did it have, like, a price over here? Let's see. Personal edition. That one's free. Probably make you... We'll probably search to see, like, maybe Reddit or something. Someone talks about it. This works. Where is my money, man? I want a personal edition. So there's a hobby edition. I don't know if these are all free or what. Commercial Enterprise Edition modules are not included. So yeah, they're not telling us how much stuff. So maybe we, these prices might be old too, but we do this and we say like, uh, this works uh, versus Allegro CL prices, just to see. That doesn't look like it's a page to pay for, but let's just look over there real quick. I think I have to do this again. Yeah, I don't see anybody putting price list anywhere. But I want to say they're like 5000 bucks or something. Uh, and probably we could go to the Wayback Machine and look at their prices. Because they probably used to put the price on there a long time ago. But I want to say like one's two thousand and one's five thousand. Like money, can I say give me a dollar sign, buddy? There needs to be a dollar sign on the page I'm looking for. Oh no. I don't think Google likes that. But you should add it. Uh well, who cares? Let's just know, like, we saw five ninety nine, right? That's sort of like the cheapest version you can get for a free version for that one. Uh, uh, maybe I'll find some prices or something next time. Uh, anyway. There was something else I was trying to do, right? Am I going to remember what it was? 
trying to run this thing. Oh, let's just still go to the implementations because there's so many of them. So you can see right here, I guess, some of the languages that it's influenced. So Common Lisp is influenced by Lisp, the Lisp Machine Lisp, Mac Lisp Scheme, and Interlisp. Um, this one being a Lisp, Lisp one, let's say. Closure, Dylan, these are the ones that influence. So Closure, Dylan, Emacs, Lisp, U Lisp, I Lisp, Lisp, Auto Lisp, Julia, Moose, R, Skill, Sogo. I want to say that R originally, kind of like PHP, was originally just Perl scripts. I want to say that R was originally just Lisp scripts and then it turned into its own language. Auto Lisp is for AutoCAD. I don't know, some of these are just, I don't know what Moose is, but Julia is some other programming language. I think like a, lot, a lot of math or scientists or some play with that, or some do anyway. But what I was trying to see is if there was like showing on here the different types of how many different common lists or something. How many implementations there are, but they're probably not going to go over that too much. Like there's another, well, not all of them are common lists, I guess. Because uh, you have like ARC that Paul Graham was messing with. I don't think that's a common list, but implementations, which is the stuff that it kind of has in it. Uh, so commercial implementations is Allegro, Liquid Common Lisp, I don't know, uh, formerly called Lucid. I don't know if I've heard of that before. This one, Mockle. I want to say this is for like iOS and Android type of... I took a look at this, but I want to say it's a paid thing for like developing under these, which is kind of cool. And then there's a Open Genera, so this is like a Symbolics, probably, for the deck alpha, but I don't know. There's a dude that like has a licensing rights to this operating system right here. It really sucks. I don't know what's going to happen when he croaks, but he's just like hoarding the license. Probably tries to sell it or something. I don't know. But it'd be nice if he released it open source. Uh, LMI was like a list machine. And then they had some like Symbolics Open Genera. This right here is like a. Hmm. This is this ran on top of a Lisp machine, so it's kind of like C or something. Whenever you want to like go real low, low level on C, you can because you know Linux and Unix is a lot of times written in C, and probably even like you know Microsoft was at some point, or they might have been using C plus plus, but they're probably still going to fall back to C sometimes. And now they're probably using C Sharp or whatever, but there's still real similar languages. You can go low level on this C. Well, you could go just as low level here because this is a Lisp machine. It's not running C code. It's just the machine itself is built to run Lisp. This is old, though. Initial release. It's like 1982, 39 years ago. And it ran on top of, like, the Lisp machines. Uh, looks like the Deck Alpha, too, also. And it's a proprietary license. But this is super powerful. It's kind of like, kind of like messing with Emacs. You have like uh, all everything in there is just like kind of like Emacs. Everything's Lisp. So super, man, they have so many cool programs too. Uh, what else do they have? They have some of like the what was it? It starts with the M. There was like a three D modeling program, Mira or something. So here I go rambling around everywhere again, man. But I think when I was like three D software and so I wonder if you could see some images of something Wings 3D I want to say Wings 3D was influenced by this or vice versa too which probably in its common list but uh, maybe there's some images real quick and then I'll get out of here so here it is Mirai and look at this and so here's friends like the Allegro people but this is like from a, pr a program that we just saw on the other window, if I can open it back up, for an operating system called Open Genera that Symbolics created, right? Back in 1982. And then back in 1982, here's some like 3D animation program and stuff. And here's that Wings 3D, I think. I don't know if it was written in Common Lisp 2, but it seems like it spun off of this Murray or whatever. And when I worked at the TV channel, some dude used to use, I want to say he used Wings 3D to render some of his stuff, but he mostly did all of his stuff in uh, Poser. Uh, like all kinds of stuff. Uh, he was in here, like this right here. Well, that's Wings 3D. I wonder what Wings 3D is compared to Murray. I have to go look at that. 
But anyway, so like, it's just interesting to see some old ass, some old program right here, running, like, really cool, like animation and 3D and stuff and building characters. So some all those graphics. There's probably some YouTube videos or something on there. And right here is a model. I don't know. Like, there's some dudes probably that have this running on their Linux machine. Because you can get, there's Miku Miku was even in here. So, looks like someone drew her in there. But, uh, you can, like, try to find an open genera that someone's had working on Ubuntu, but probably someone's ported it over to other Linuxes by now. Where you can run this on top of your Linux machine or something. Uh, I knew a dude trying to get it to work on FreeBSD for a while, but he couldn't get it to work. But he did a bunch of patches and stuff to get everything working better. Because the keyboard and stuff, so... Like when you're in Emacs, Control x Control f and doing all these things. I think it was called like a Space Cadet keyboard, maybe. Space Cadet keyboard. So, uh, maybe they have an image of this sucker here, too. Um, let's just try this one. Oh, here's one, maybe. This kind of looks like a Commodore 64 one. So, here's maybe one. Let me try to zoom in on this one, maybe. Yeah, I know. So, is this someone building one themselves, maybe? But here you can see, like, you have a hyper, a super, a meta, so it's... For us, maybe the super is the Windows key. So this is an old, old keyboard from the 86. Look at it, you know. So uh, we have the Windows key. This is kind of like a super key. Meta key is your alt key. Control key, we already know what a control key is. And hyper is like even another one. So just think if you hit hold down control and alt, which is these two, or control and Windows, or control and this hyper. And then, um, then over here, I guess you hold this down. And this will let you type the Greek symbols and stuff. And you have like a top repeat. I don't know what all this stuff is. I didn't, wasn't messing with this stuff back then. I was, too, I was a kid. Didn't know nothing about this stuff. One, two, three, four. I don't know. These different modes or something. Macro. So like, quote. You know, like that. This might be your quote. So, like, instead of, like this right here. It says, quote. So probably that's whenever you uh, quote stuff, like the symbols we were quoting, like right here, I'm quoting this. So you type that, and that's like typing out quote or something, you know? Well, anyway, I don't want to get too rambling in this. Just know, like, you have, that's why, like, let me go back over there real quick. Uh, that's why you're hitting, like, Control-Alt. Uh, why can't I zoom in? There we go. So that's why you're saying, like, to open up a new buffer or switch buffer, Control-X, Control-B, because they might have been using... Hyper X, and that switches your buffer. And then now, when you get a keyboard that doesn't have as many keys, right? Then now you have to hold Control Alt at the same time as doing something, or Control X. So I don't know. So I'd say like Emacs kind of is influenced with all these Control Alt stuff. Control this, Alt this, all this. Control X, Control B, Control X, Control F. Because you might have just been able to hit like Hyper F to open up a file. But since we don't have all these special keys everywhere anymore. You have to hit Control X, Control F, or something. I don't know. Just guessing here. Now let me get out of here because that's not what I was trying to do. Now what I want to do is come back over here. I'm getting out of here too. <laughs> or I go off on another tangent. Oh, and I wanted to make sure I'm typing the right things in. So right here, if I dump this, let's say, and this time I didn't get an error, right? And so that means that when I was typing this before, it either has to do with the mrepl or because I opened up that ripple that I lost a link to it or something that's still sitting there. So maybe I won't close this for a while and just see if I can get that out so I can show you later. But now, supposedly, what's it say? Go to an inferior list buffer in Emacs and run the following code. So it's telling me not to do it in a slime ripple. Mm -hmm. And it's telling me to load this. So let me go see if I have that folder open. I do not. That's a different one. So let me go open that folder real quick. I want to say that's in my uh, home folder. So, um, C users, sewers, C sewers, C users. God, I'm trying to say users, but I keep saying sewers because I'm reading what I've put and then typing the same thing again. And then rivet face, let's say. 
And I think it was in Learn, maybe. That's where I told it to go, right? Ooh, I don't see it. But maybe I was in Learn Lisp, hopefully. Nope. Um, where did it save this at, then? See, I have no idea where to put that. Uh, like, oh, maybe because I'm over here in this. Was I in the wrong one? Live at face learn. So CD. Let me see where I am in slime. C users are at face learn. I don't know where I'm at. Is it like a hidden file? It shouldn't be. Maybe I have to hit five or something. Nope. Let me rename it just real quick. Because it looks like it supposedly uh, did what I wanted to do here. Get out of there. So I'm going to say rivet face, rivet test two. And then let me put a path name. So how can I put a path name? Does it even like me? So if I get rid of this and I say C. Uh, users and this might need to be capitalized, right? It sees users rivet face learn and then give it that. Oh, it's gone. Uh, so okay, control G that rivet, rivet test, I think is what I wanted to call it, right? Rivet test two dot SBCL. So I still don't see it putting it in here. So see, user sort of face learn. That's where I'm at, right? So I don't know. Is it like hiding this stuff? I don't think it would be, but hidden items. Oh no, so will this work? Oh, maybe it's telling me I have to run it over there. Cheerio come door dump slime. Okay, so I think I'm reading this wrong. So if I come back over here on this first one I had. And then it's telling me to run this command, not from slime. So I have to go control XB and here's where it's telling me. Please go to this buffer and run this command. I thought I was saying go to this buffer and load it, but it's telling me to go there. So what I'm going to do right here is control X O because I got out of there and just control G to exit that. So I'm saying control X B and now I'm going to look look for that inferior lisp. So there we have, we have a what? I can type in here? Doesn't make sense. Control X B. So what did it say? Please go to the inferior list buffer in Emacs and run the following code. Oh, because it's a function. Okay, so that's cool with me. I'm just going to come over here again. And then undo that. Control X U, let's say. Control X B to go back to that buffer. It's still weird. Like, I can run a function here, I guess, though. Cannot dump an SPCL image from inside slime. Please go to the inferior buffer Emacs will run this. Oh, I'm in an inferior lisp though. So let me come back over here one more time and I'll just try to figure this out later I guess because this is getting so long. And so if I say inferior everything, inferior, I'm only seeing one of them. So supposedly I'm over there. If I say control XP I'm over here. But you know, like earlier I didn't have a prompt. Hmm. And if I went back over there and try to give it a name, because I'm in where? Right here. If I was to say PWD here. So now it's saying I'm in Portacle. Uh, so maybe it's inside there. So let me go of a folder and go into Portacle. I don't even want to be putting stuff in here anyway, but it's not there. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe if I go back to that other buffer though. And then I want to say Alt X here, CD. 
And I want to go here to learn too anyway. So if I run that command, maybe I'll be there. So Alt X P W D. All right. So Control X B. And maybe if I try it with this actual command it gave me to do. So undo that. Come back over here. Just try this one more time. Oh, it's doing something. Okay. Uh, so I gotta figure out how to do this maybe in the other one, or it doesn't really matter because now we figured it out. I guess what I wanted to try to show was, looks like my Lisp connection broke. Does that mean I'm kicked out of a uh, slime? So Control XB, let's just see if my slime rope buffer is still alive. And it's not, not connected. All thanks. No. How do I load that thing though? Like how would I load a... So now theoretically, I have a file sitting over there. Oh, I closed that window. So let me go back over there. Oops, what I hit? I don't know what I did. I hit a Emacs command. I'm trying to hit a Windows command. If I come back over here, here's my SPCL thing, right? What's a preview? Get rid of a preview. I want previews. Why are you putting previews there? No. Like, I want to view details, not previews. Oh, now to get rid of that window. Uh, can I just move it smaller? No, I can't even do that. Stupid preview. Uh, I wanted to see how big that was. I guess I can scroll now. So 45 megs. So basically this is going to dump an image to be able to run not just all the code that I typed in, which is just, you know, very little because I was over here in this other Emacs window. But somehow now I can load this up. And this is what I was talking about over here in that other video. Like I was trying to make this right here where I didn't have to actually write any the source code in a file. And then if I dumped it out as an image over here, then I could reload this image, and I don't even actually have to have the source code. So I, I think that's pretty interesting. And so what I'm going to do is just get out of here, right? So I'm just going to close the mm, portal, and I'm going to open it back up just to show it's a fresh install, right? And so I shouldn't have the rat girl function, whatever I was doing, like whether she was committing suicide or whatever. And now I'm running inside slime automatically. Man, that's kind of annoying. Because it's already running Roy. Like, how would I load that into slime? I guess that's what I gotta look for real quick. It's the core dump. Uh, I don't have that window I had last time open. So I'm gonna just use Google and say uh, slime load dumped core image. Load uh, image, maybe. Setting up list image. So I almost want to say, just to see this, but I don't know how to load it either way, right? So let me just see. Setting up this image, swing server. Uh, this is what I do once I was in there to connect to it. Create, load. So this is connecting to a remote Lisp. Mm -hmm. So let me just use this instead. Let's forget about slime for a minute. Go to SPCL, load a uh, image from file. Maybe I should have put there. Eh, my ear. Uh, save and list die core, SPCL, core, core. So if he named his core, he's gonna say core, core. And then let's see if someone else is saying what to do. Let me make that bigger for you. Um, I don't wanna use Roswell, dude. How do I load it back up, though? Yeah. So I'm going to try to use the way that guy was trying to run it. Uh. Man. Okay, so let's just try what he's doing right here from the command line, maybe. Oh, man, that's even more annoying. Uh, how would I do this? How do I run? First off, can I just double click this thing? It doesn't know what to do with it, right? All right, so that's a no-go. 
So maybe I go to a DOS window. <clears throat> Can I run like SPCL from a DOS window? Let's see. CMD. Does it know where it is? It does. Like which SPCL am I running inside this window though? Maybe it doesn't matter. So if I exit this. Oh, sorry. But I want to do it like this maybe. And then I want to say exit. And then right here, we can say CD learn maybe. Uh, LSDIR, what is it? Um, and then there's the ribbit test. So let's just make this over here. And then this guy was trying. His wasn't working, but let's just start where he is. Because nobody else is really answering it the way I want to see. Maybe that's the core and start. So maybe I try to say like uh, SBCL, SBCL, and then core. And then I have to put my ribbit thing here. Did that work really? Let's just see. Blah, 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 blah. Warning, the Windows port is fragile. So I guess they still have this. So, like, I'm just going to use SPCL on Windows until the fragile part bothers me. And then this might be whenever you're wanting to mess with C Lisp or Clisp or whatever it's called. But, uh, uh, you know, we also have the WSL windows that we can run SPCL from, like, the Linux side of Windows. So I don't think it's really a big deal. And it didn't keep me in there. Fatal error encountered SPCL PID. Core was built runtime. Linux, Linus, but this is uh, something different. So, can I... But I don't know if that core command is even what I'm supposed to be trying to do. Uh, this is, might be something totally different. Uh, and I can't man that, but maybe in Linux I could. Let me just try this real quick. And now in here, I'm going to try to look for like an image, maybe. Dump image memory. Uh, SVLCU.core executable program. Unless I'm written by the core option. I don't know what I'm doing. But we have an image somehow sitting there in SPCL format, I guess. And now what it's saying, it's like saying different things. I want to say... Like if I say SBCL minus minus version maybe, uh, that's not enough help for me because I have this other stuff. So maybe what I need to do is, let's just keep trying this. Let's go find SBCL on the Windows side. Program file, steel bank to, what I'm guessing is I'm running some other thing I have called mean. Uh, which, if this works, maybe I can show you what I'm talking about. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter what I'm talking about. And now, let me just see what this is, actually. So if I go home on here, let's say CD here. And then now, if I run this SBCL.exe. And then now if I exit here. See, this looks like it's the same now. But let's just find out. I don't even know if that command's the right command to try, right? I just saw that dude type in that. Oh, and then now I gotta give it the pass. Sheesh. Can I tab complete here? Yes. So ribbit face. I wanna say it was a learn, and then it was called ribbit something. And it's still crashing out. So, not true, what I was thinking. But I did install SPCL earlier from here, remember? So. I'm just going to do it from the Linux side and see. Because I might not even be running the right command. And I need to go down over here. And there was a ribbon face right there. So what if I say SBCL in the Linux side and say minus minus core ribbit. Yeah, it's still crashing out. So maybe that's not how I load the image. So I'm going to spend another minute or two on this and see how to... Load an image. Like, what am I supposed to do? Setting up Emacs. I don't want to do this in Emacs. Setting up the list image. I don't want to set up to the list image. If I could get the list image running, then I could connect to it from Emacs and Slime. So <clears throat> let's just go back to uh, Google again and say, like, SBCL load. Uh, what was that thing called that we were using? Trivial something? Maybe that's the part and place I need to start from. So if I go back over here, well, I'm not in there anymore, but I did have it in this one, maybe. And then I'm saying 
trivial dump core. So maybe it's like trivial load core or something. So trivial, what was that? I actually want to see what the, that's called trivial dump core. So SPCL trivial dump core load image. I think I just have to know what to type. Maybe it'll tell me here. Quick list trivial dump core, CCL, trivial dump core, find CCL to run this. Same from the terminal CCL. Oh, here's CCL though, not SPCL. Wow, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, but what was it saying to do? Minus I. So in Linux, maybe. Let me just see if it says that. Man, SPCL. Let's see if there's a minus I in here. There's not. What kind of flags did I have? I did see a core right there though. Um, yeah, so it's not giving me very many options of what to run there. Sys init load instead of default system wide installation files. Disable LDV. Core file. So here it is a core file I can put. Um, and I don't think I have CCL on here. And it probably wouldn't work with uh, SPCL, right? Oh, here it is, SPCL and slime. To dump the current SPCL image, you need to get to the inferior list buffer and do this. The same happens when you use when using the save executable function. And then now it's here it's saying, man, see I don't want to do that part though, but maybe right here, dump core is how you do that. Maybe I can only dump certain ones out too, but I just want to dump the whole image out really. Now I need to go to the inferior buff buffer. What? Is this still dumping it? I want to load it now. Okay, once again, so this is just showing me how to get it out, which I already did. I want to know how to load it in. Can't dump an image. Man, so frustrating here. Maybe if I would have saved it as an executable though, then I wouldn't have to have this problem. How do I load that? And that's, I don't want to do that. I wonder if I say slime or slide connect. Can I run another Emacs? Just give me a new window, the other one. And then maybe I can come over here. If I type sly connect. Oh, but we were using slime. No, we didn't. We did use the inferior. Slime connect. There was like a slime connect image or something. Sly. There's going to be too many. Image. Image. Does anything have an image in its name? Oh, yeah, there's too many of those, so. Eesh. So it looks like here's how it loaded though. So why don't I just try it with SVCL then, right? I don't think this is gonna work, but uh, see if they're the same. And mm, I guess I gotta go back to the DOS window maybe. Did I already close that thing? Darn, no, I didn't. Here it is. If I look in here, oh, but I'm in the wrong window. I don't think I can do this. Windows, can I know? This is where Tmux would come useful if it was in Windows too, huh? So CD, uh, C, which one is it? This one? And then rivet face, learn maybe? And then I'm gonna say SPCL, and then rivet face saying, and that guy was saying to do a minus I for the other one, which I don't think it's gonna be the same in this one, but. Give it a shot. Hey, wait a minute. Did it even do anything, I wonder? So, I don't remember the rest of the functions. <sighs> did I do an add, though? I think I did an add. There's no tab completion. Add, was it add one or add two? Yeah. I had to close that window, too, so I have no idea. Add. So I'll just say add 10, 20, and it doesn't work. 
And then I did another one, so maybe I can find that function I copied from the other one at least. What's it called? RG suicide? So if I say describe, uh, I should be able to do it without that though, right? Since it's a function, I'll see both of them. No, it's empty, so it didn't work. I think this just loaded uh, SPCL and didn't give me that core file. So let me go back to search. I should probably just quit this video, but I want to know how to do this. Um, I don't want to dump it. I want to eat it. Maybe the SPCL manual. If it's all on one page, maybe I can say like a load image, maybe, or just image. Saving a core. Oh, I just don't want to save it. I actually want to run it. <laughs> Saving a core. I guess I gotta tell it which ones I want to save from, but does it show me how to load it? Yeah, I don't know. Well, running options. Core, core file name. I'm going to specify core file instead of the default. Note that if the list core file is a user created a call for it, it may run a non standard top level, which does not recognize the standard top level options. And since I didn't, since I didn't say it, so uh, maybe that's why. But this right here wasn't loading anyway, so when I said minus minus core, I gave it rivet. It was airing out. So maybe I need to try this on the Linux side, save it out and try to import it back in. But I don't know, this is too much already. Um, I'm done. Uh, thanks, Ribbit.